Yeah. Oh, what a beauty. Missed this car. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Well, guys, it's an amazing machine. Still a uh, work in progress. But Rodrigo's taking care of this amazing car. So she's in good hands. Nice. Rodrigo also put a new emblem on it. Looks beautiful. So nice. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. So this is what I noticed, bro. Mm -hmm. And when I connect this back. Oh, know? that's for the antenna, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It keeps rolling. It keeps working. Okay. Okay. So is, uh, is your switch, which position is your switch in? Okay. Well, I put it back to off now. So just it wasn't working. I, I replaced that. Too. Oh yeah, you replaced that. Yeah. yeah so right now you basically key. have one one key for the all the locks and stuff. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Slowly but surely. Well, this car is eventually gonna get restored fully. So oh, yeah, sure, yeah. that makes me super happy. Rodrigo is an amazing friend of mine, and he takes care of things like uh, we love seeing. So. We replaced this uh, windshield gasket too, and we just have to find a couple of trims. It's not a big deal, but yeah, looking beautiful, looking amazing, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you see, actually this windshield came with this shade right here, and he also got it tinted here for interior protection and stuff like that. So yeah, eventually, slowly but surely, it's gonna get all fixed up restored and then it also has a new switch new combo switch right here so fix the yeah interior switch because the lights were not working okay so please that too nice so nice the door, they turn on now. yeah so rodrigo is amazing he's been working and loving this car like we all should and must okay we're about to try to start it up it hasn't been started for like four months rodrigo doesn't drive it in the winter she keeps it here safe and sound so Let's see how she if she starts or not. May need some glow plug work, but we will see. Wow, I love the steering wheel, bro. Like it's so clean. <laughs> oh, yeah, I try to keep it nice. Yeah. Nice. We just need to get get you some uh, gauges here and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's okay. Man, what a cool car. We're gonna cycle it a couple times. See how she starts. I replace this too. I replace oh yeah, I know. Yeah, the water yeah. was going into like the uh, the actual one. It was all rusty from here. Oh okay, I yeah. I need to get the, the cover. cover. Okay, yeah. yeah, the cover is another the, the thing. The water was coming in because of the. That's you know, right. Yeah. That's right. The windshield seal was leaking. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, reconnect those cables. Okay, now the lights are a lot better, so. We'll see if we hear the relay click. Should click in a second. Depending on the temperature.
There you go, it clicked. Okay, I'll just take this off for a second. Okay. Let's see, I'll psycho it one more time. Yeah, but then it clicks also when it engages, and then after a while it will disengage, it will click oh, wow. off again. Yeah. Really, really cold this morning, about, I would say, maybe 10 degrees Fahrenheit or was it minus 15 Celsius, something like that, I guess. You might have to increase the RPMs a little yeah, bit on this do. one. Do, do you have to reset this one or no, Rodrigo? No, no. It just stays like that, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, so Rodrigo also said this battery is being a little weird. Uh, it's not even two years old, but he was charging it would just die, that battery. And the alternator is all good on this car. He actually replaced it at some point. Um, I'm just gonna try to plug in the heater for a little bit. Uh, he's gonna bring the extension cord. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm also thinking to take off these cables just straight without those cables on the battery to start it like that and then install the cables on the once the car starts so now we're bypassing the battery with the, some chevy power and some some of this power we'll see we plugged in the heater but i actually don't know if it works on this car the heater but maybe it does we'll try maybe Increased RPM. Nope. That's good, bro. All right. So she is definitely cold. If you really know, cold. We yeah, we'll just leave it like this for the, now. The other charger. Yep. So right we plugged in the heater. Now me and Rodrigo are just tightening some of these clamps. Just repositioning them for the coolant hoses. Amazing car. We just checked the glow plugs. The glow plugs are good. They're working. Relay is good. It's working. And power's coming to the glow plugs. Just think it's just really cold. So hopefully this heater, block heater, is working. I haven't checked it ever since I got this car. But maybe, I just gotta wait a little bit. The oil is just really thick because it's cold. We can leave it here. Yeah. So this right here is the dipstick to heater and oil heater and stuff. So we're gonna, this is actually really cool. Rodrigo uses this on like semi trucks and stuff. Um, but we're gonna shove it all the way in there and plug it in. Let's see, is that all the way? I think that is all the way. And now plugged it in and it's gonna be heating up that oil and we'll be able to start this car soon. The block heater that it has, uh, we have to just fix the plug on it because uh, it was sparking a little bit here. So Rodrigo's gonna fix that. And yeah, I'm gonna put some of this stuff back. We just had to tighten some of those clamps. And these are the books and stuff. This is the engine manuals, like gasoline and diesel engines. Is it a two, we need a 10 pair, like a eight, I would say eight, yeah. So there's a lot of good stuff and info. Definitely gonna be reading that. But the service manual right here is another cool part that the previous owner gave him with the car. There's a lot of stuff. Electrical, whatever else it has, belts, uh, engine stuff, suspension, transmission. It's cool stuff.
That's better. Yeah, it's trying, it's trying. So far, no luck. We're gonna try a couple more things, but the oil's pretty warmed up, but I mean, this uh, the battery on this truck is a lot smaller, only like 600 something called cranking amps. Yeah, it's not enough to power up this beast. And we tried it with a, an extra jumper as well. So we'll keep trying. If not, then he's just gonna leave that on for a while. Warm up the oil more and he's gonna charge up that battery again. 